Can you forgive what seems unforgivable? In a world where wounds run deep, forgiveness can appear elusive, even impossible. Yet it holds a transformative power that can mend hearts and heal souls. This is the compelling message of the book, Forgiving What You Can't Forget by Lysa Tekirst. It's more than just a book, it's a journey through seven profound lessons on forgiveness, each one shedding light on a different facet of this powerful act. Our exploration begins with the very first step, acknowledging your pain. The journey of forgiveness begins with acknowledging your pain. This is the first step towards healing, confronting the reality of your hurt, instead of burying it under pretenses. When we admit that we're hurting, we take the first step towards healing. It's not an easy step, but it's a necessary one. Next, we venture into understanding what forgiveness truly means. It's not about excusing the wrong or pretending it never happened. It's certainly not about letting the offender off the hook or minimizing your pain. Instead, forgiveness is about releasing the hold of bitterness and resentment on your life. It's a conscious decision, a gift that you give to yourself. By forgiving, you free yourself from the burden of carrying anger and hurt. The third lesson is about embracing imperfection, understanding that forgiveness is a messy process. It's not a linear path, and it certainly doesn't happen overnight. You might find yourself wrestling with conflicting emotions or experiencing setbacks along the way, and that's okay. It's all part of the process. Embrace the imperfection of your journey and be patient with yourself. Healing takes time and it's perfectly okay to stumble as long as you keep moving forward. As we navigate through this journey, it's crucial to set boundaries and practice self-compassion. Remember, forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or allowing yourself to be repeatedly hurt. It's about protecting yourself while extending grace to those who have wronged you. Setting boundaries is not an act of defiance, but an act of self-preservation. So begins our fourth lesson. It's crucial to understand that forgiveness doesn't equate to forgetting or allowing repeated harm. Instead, it's about setting healthy boundaries to protect oneself from further hurt, while still extending grace to those who have wronged us. It's about preserving your self-respect. Moving on to the fifth lesson, it reminds us of the importance of self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness throughout this journey. Offer yourself the same understanding and empathy you would extend to a friend in pain. Celebrate your progress no matter how small, and offer yourself grace when you falter. Lastly, the sixth lesson emphasizes the power of choice. Forgiveness is a choice, a powerful one that empowers you to break free from the chains of resentment. It's not about denying the pain, but refusing to let it define you. Choose freedom over bondage and embrace the peace that comes with letting go. Finally, we arrive at the most enlightening part of the journey, finding meaning in the pain. Our pain, however deep, carries with it the seeds of growth. So let's embrace the final lesson from Lisa Turkirst's transformative book, Finding Meaning in the Pain. It may seem counterintuitive, but hardships are not just obstacles to overcome. They are, in fact, opportunities for growth and redemption. When we view our struggles through this lens, we begin to see our pain as a teacher, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. We learn resilience, compassion and authenticity. Our experiences, no matter how painful, can offer valuable lessons and insights that shape us into more empathetic and understanding individuals. In essence, our pain becomes a catalyst for personal growth, transforming us into stronger, more resilient beings. This transformative journey begins and ends with forgiveness, which in turn leads to a life of peace, joy and wholeness. In the end, forgiveness is not merely about overcoming pain, but about transforming it into a foundation for a more resilient, compassionate and authentic